No sé cuál me voy, el perro, el porche, la se trevo, el Roll Roy. El bote parqueado en San Croix, viviendo la vida como si se va a acabar hoy. Yo, tranquilo en la mía es que estoy. El Richard Zafiro, Dios me los bendiga, mis hijos no nacen otro como Floyd. La baby le llegan, los míos al día no le falta nada. Las guaguas son negras, están todas blindadas. Tu ronca allá afuera, aquí tú no eres nada. Porque mi tiempo me vale dinero, no te asustes si te enseño todos los ceros. La vida me bendijo porque me mero, soy mi jefe, eso hago lo que yo quiero. Que arriba no llega. Tú sabes que aquí es real, mere, me vengo a afrontar, preguntarle al banquero, son tres melones semanales. MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's Game 4 of the National League Championship Series between the Atlanta Braves and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Again, everyone, Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of game four. For my money, there's nothing better than postseason baseball. Every game is critical, and one swing, one air, or even one pitch can make all the difference. Let's get this thing going already. Roll the ball out there and let's play. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out of the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play by play is coming up next. is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're getting a look at one of the most versatile pitchers in all of baseball in Julio Arias. He's been successful in the bullpen. He's had some success as a starting pitcher, one of the top young pitchers in all of baseball. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First offering on its way. And we are underway from Dodger Stadium as the first pitch is taken here for ball one. The 1 0 delivery. Two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The one two swing and a liner. Lux is under it, one away. So bases are empty with one gone and into bat next one of the best run producers in the game the left handed hitting first baseman Freddie Freeman. Becomes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy that's right where you want to miss any lower and he'll probably make you pay for it. and a strike now to the Braves first baseman. Freeman is considered an absolute stud with a bat particularly against right handed pitching against Southpaws however he has historically had a lot more difficulty. He's set here comes the one one just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call. One out nobody on. All even now, two and two. Put that in the memory bank. 
first time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And now pitch on the way. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. So up steps Ozzie Albies as the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Hey, down 0-2, he better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you've got to be on point with this one. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1 and 2. And that one misses badly. It's ball 2. Here now the 2-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Braves are set down 1-2-3. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Drew Smiley will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Man, I'm a big fan of Drew Smiley. He's a strike thrower. When he's on, he's got a good enough fastball, good assortment of off-speed pitches. He knows how to pitch. He's not afraid to let his defense work behind him. Solid quality pitcher. I expect him to pitch well in this one. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The left fielder, Mookie Betts. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The 1 0. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo home run there for Mookie. And the Dodgers strike first, one to nothing. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or runner to early in the game, and he does just that. Blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. Here's Corey Seager. That's good shot. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. One oh is looked at for the first strike. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. 
Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Right side, but it's well foul. A payoff pitch one more time. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Hit in the air out to center field. Duvall has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Batting third, the second baseman. Next for the Dodgers, Trey Turner. First pitch coming, here it is. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. The 1 0 home. And this is swung on and grounded out to Swanson at short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. That is cool. Here now is Will Smith looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Pitch on the way. The wind up and the 0 1. Two out, nobody on. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And that one yanked just foul. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The one two straight three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders side retires one for the Dodgers on the solo home run will head to the top of the second it's now one nothing LA Leading off the inning, it'll be Austin Riley as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Riley native of Tennessee. He's in his third season as a major league player. Here's the 0 1 swing and a miss and he needs a little discipline here 0 and 2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. 0 and 2 here it is. On the ground to third. Gloved by Taylor. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. That is good. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie Rosario. The next to bat for Atlanta, Eddie Rosario. First delivery to him. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Now the pitch. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball, he's working really quick keeping the ball down in the zone and if you take a look at this guy so far early on a lot of positive signs he looks like he brought his good stuff in this one now the 0 2 pitch now a 
a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the American League Championship Series as they've got a good matchup going on over there as well. So two out, nobody on. And up next, former San Francisco minor league property Adam Duvall. He's set. Here it comes. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They still trail 1-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Gavin Lux. First pitch of the A-B now. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Riley is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. That exists. The right field. Jump there. Turner. Next to hit is Justin Turner. First pitch on its way. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Cody Bellinger at the plate now, and he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Quickly 0 and 2. Swing and he pops him up. Riley in foul ground, but this will land untouched. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. At the plate now, Chris Taylor. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. 
Garno is under it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We play two full. Dodgers out in front, one to nothing. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The pitch. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swing and a liner. And that's the first hit in this one for the Braves. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. In now, Drew Smiley. As he'll square around to bunt, then pull back for ball one. The 1-0 is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down to second for one on to first not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw and next will be Dansby Swanson digging in hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat yeah he hit it hard that's all you can ask you can't control the results sometimes Matty just unlucky with the placement here's the first pitch Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Another 0-2 coming. Smiley is off of first with two away. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Still a ball and two strikes. Here's the one and two. Fouled away. 
You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound has completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. That misses and we're even at two and two. Wow, this is an unbelievable at bat. I mean, talk about a battle. This is it. Love it. Working for the punch out and the offering. Runner on first with two away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs, and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible. But that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses him. Striding in is Freddie Freeman. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. First pitch of the A.B. now. And that's by him. It's 0-1. After the walk and with runners on the backs, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. One of the keys to good pitching is attacking early in the count. That's two pitches, two swings, and an 0-2 count. Let's see if he goes right after him and tries to bury him here on the third pitch. Ready with the 0-2. And, now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Two pitches fouled away. Here's the two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he fouls this one off. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. Back with more of game four on the show after this. Bottom of the third now, and next will be the pitcher, Julio Arias. The pitcher, Julio. First pitch on its way. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's your first down of the inning. 
Here's Mookie Betts, and he blasted a homer in his first at bat. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Freeman ranging into the outfield. He can't get to it. This one's down. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d You okay. could make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. Here's Corey Seager as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in. The 0 1. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the throat. To one and two now. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Albies brings it in, and indeed he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. The batter, number six. And speedy Trey Second Turner base. digs in now. Runner in scoring position with two guns. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Outside for a ball, one and one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Peterson has a read on it, and that's the third out. One left for LA, but they're on top one to nothing. Let's go. I'm on that west side, baby. You should already know that. Top of the game with an ounce of that back. Ride through the city in a new inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Set and the pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Ready on one and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with them. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Their count now at two and two. The 
Ground ball, foul down the left side. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. At the plate, Austin Riley. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 1 0. And it's fouled away. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Fouled off. Here he comes again. One, two. Lays off two and two now. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Two two one more time. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Another two two offering. Outside and a full count three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long epic at bats, you start to get into swing mode. He's set. Here's the three and two. Popped him up. Bellinger has a play. Two gone. Next up is Eddie Rosario. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's the first offering as he'll take a look at ball one. Ball Breaking ball called just a bit low. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Count now at two and one. Popped him up. Smith is in his tracks now as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're down one, nothing.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to hit is the catcher, Will Smith. The catcher. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Now the one and one pitch. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Still two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter will be Gavin Lux. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Strike one to start the at bat. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. On the move is Peterson. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Digging in next, Justin Turner. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. On, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. 1 2 3 go the Dodgers, but they lead it 1 to nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Adam Duvall. From the stretch. Ready. Here's the 1 0. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. On its way is pitch number 75. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Strike taken up in the zone. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. 
talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's Jock Peterson now, as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One-oh count, here it is. Bases are empty, one man out. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Again, another foul ball. Another try at two two. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight, and the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. Into the box now, Travis Darno. As he sends it on the ground to first. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Home half of the fifth coming up. Dodgers lead this one one to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And here comes Cody Bellinger. The first baseman, Cody Bellinger. First pitch on its way. He pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Here comes the 0 1. High in the air down the right field line. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Next up, Chris Taylor. He popped out in his first trip. Now the pitch. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Taylor, 30 years of age. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Outside, 3-0 now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Hey. One run on three hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is Rosario. And that one is gone. Chris Taylor with a solo shot. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. Man, I'm not sure what the thinking is right there. You've got the pitcher on deck, and you group one in there on a 3-1 count. I don't understand the logic in that one. Standing in now, Julio Arias. 
As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. And so now the Braves will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. One out, nobody on. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Fouled away. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat to the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Into the box, Mookie Betts. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Duvall able to track it down for the third out. Just want to ring like if you missed out, then press rewind. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. We're through five innings here tonight. It's now 2 0 LA. Guillermo Heredia will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Now the first pitch. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1-2. and two. Now here it comes. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, he's really been good all game long until that one. He was definitely not trying to hit a guy when he's got two strikes on him. It just appeared that it got away from it. To the plate now, Dansby Swanson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the 1 0. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Down the left field line and deep. And foul. Here now the 2-2. In the dirt. 
And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Three two pitch. Swing high drive left field and deep. Back goes Betts to the track on the warning track. He makes the catch and he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Here's the first baseman Freddie Freeman. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. From the belt, the pitch, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Rounded weakly to the right side. Turner fields it cleanly, and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. A simple ground ball to the infield, but the run does come home from third, and they cut their deficit to only one run. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So as he leaves with the bases empty, he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one-run lead. Bruce Star Graterall, a six-foot-one-inch right-hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Digging in, the switch hitter, Ozzy Albies. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against the modern-day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. That misses one and two. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers two and the Braves one. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've hit hard and on a line. Looking at the numbers, they've had seven total line drives. And even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact that leads to W's in the standings. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Luke Jackson. Enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Not shortstop. Corey Seager. First pitch on the way. Wind up and a 1 0 pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. 
And they can't run it down. The 1-1. One, one. It's a fastball that misses. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Lifted the other way to left center. Rosario arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Next up for Los Angeles, Trey Turner flew out last time up. Here's the first pitch. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. A ball and a strike. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Two and one, the count to Trey Turner. Popped up. Albies waits on it. Two down. Next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Will Smith. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 so far. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and no strikes. Three and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 3-1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3-2. Three 3-2 two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order. They still lead it 2-1. to one. And now the Atlanta number four hitter, Austin Riley, due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. First pitch of the A.B. now. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and oh. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. 
What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Down the line and fair, that's a hit. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. So now to the plate, Eddie Rosario. And so watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. Good swing, but a late one as it's fouled off to the left. You don't see too many guys at this level be late on off-speed pitches right there. That tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic take. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. At the plate, Adam Duvall. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Popped him up. Smith is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. From the belt, the pitch, as it's on the ground toward the hole, and that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes. And that's exactly what happened right there. Corey Knable takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. In now, Travis Darno, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. Changeup laid off down around the shins. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. The set and the two and one. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. In the dirt here, goes to third with it, and he is in there at third as the possible tying run. He sent the payoff pitch. 
And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Aire Adrianza will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Now the first pitch. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. One and oh, here it is. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three zero. -oh. Here it is, and that misses ball four. So now the tying run will come across to score. Well, that's just not a good look for the guy in the mound. Base is loaded. You expect him to bear down and really fight to get an out, but instead he walks home a run on four pitches. Late now, Dansby Swanson as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. No hits to this point. Two and zero, the count to Dansby Swanson. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The 3 0 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Mm, and a good pitch there as they come after him and the count goes full. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Two out, bases loaded. Oh, and he misses for ball four and he's forced in the go-ahead run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. The 0 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Bases are loaded here, two down. Fastball just missed above the zone. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The 
The one two pitch. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Bottom of the seventh inning upcoming in L.A. Get up and stretch. Braves lead this one three to two. Tyler Matzik gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 68. Now with the plate is Gavin Lux. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Hey, I don't blame them for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Into the box now, Justin Turner. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's one for two in this one. Look out, two and oh now. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's two and one. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher count full of three balls and two strikes and he lays off ball four so now the potential tying run here is a board late in the game well you never want to issue a free pass if you can help it but when a hitter like that digs in you'd rather be standing at first than driving a ball out of here and erasing your one run lead Cody Bellinger at the plate now he's 0 for 2 thus far in this one from the stretch here's the pitch it's a great job right there to pull that one back make the count 1-0 get this defense on its heels a little bit the number one thing if you're going to be a good bunker you have to get strikes from the belt the pitch and no take on 2-0 -oh. he's still squaring and he gets it down throw is too late so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit Jacob Webb takes the ball from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Standing in now, Chris Taylor, as he'll lay off a curveball up in the zone for a ball, 1 0. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed in that strike one.
two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1. Two balls and two strikes now. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. A.J. Pollard will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ready with the 1 0. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Hit to short. Swanson picks it up, and the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Braves' bullpen does their part. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Atlanta leads it three to two. Joe Kelly has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Ozzie Alves. Here's the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Change up low, 2 0. Oh. Now the pitch. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Swinging away and now the count will be 3 and 1. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Stepping in for the Braves, Austin Riley. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. This one, everything we could have hoped for. 3-2 in inning number 8. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle and that's in there. Base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Boy, D. Rowe, there's a case of the outfield defense playing so deep that that ball looked like it was extra bases all the way, but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan, could keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, 
Boy, I was wrong. That worked. First pitch coming. Here it is. Eddie Rosario is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. The 0-1 delivery. Hits are even right now at five aside. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. O2 once more. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down one, two. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. From the stretch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. One there. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So we've got runners at the corners here, one away, and up next, former San Francisco minor league property Adam Duvall. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Catch made in center, here comes the runner from third. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two-run game now. Every team is looking for that insurance run late in the game. That run right there gives them a two-run lead heading into the late innings. To the plate now, Jock Peterson. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. Swinging away and maybe a bit too anxious there. Still ahead in the count, three and one. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Blake Trinan enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Travis Darno will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Rosario over at second. Peterson at first. Two out in the inning. Can't get around quick enough and that'll move the count to one and one. From the stretch.
lifted in the air toward the line and right. Long run for the right fielder, and he makes the catch in the corner. Braves will settle for just the one. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Braves on top, four to two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Chris Martin will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Christian Pache will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Jumped Number all five. over that first Jumped pitch up. of the inning, and Holy. he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able Caesar. to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Into the box, Corey Seager. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 1 0. Martin is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Got him swinging, chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Here now is Trey Turner. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the 1-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3 and 0. Oh. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. On, he mistimes that swing, and it's 3 and 1 now. A shot down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Getting late, four to our score as we play the eighth inning. And another foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Bounced weakly near the plate, but it rolls foul, so we'll have another payoff pitch. him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up Will Smith. From the stretch. I know closers are known for having the nastiest stuff on the team. Exploding fastballs, devastating off speed. 
but they'd be lying if they didn't say they wanted a two-run, three-run lead. That's exactly what this guy has a chance to do. Hand it to that monster in the ninth with a two-run lead. And he'll dive back in safely. Two out with the man at first. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. A ball and two strikes. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Dodgers leave one. They trail it here four to two. So striding in to start the ninth is Christian Pache. Trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. Now here's the first offering. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Just a tick behind for a strike. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base pass. So now to the plate, Dansby Swanson, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Strike 2 swinging just out in front of the slider. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Here's the 0 and 2. One ball, two Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for rack number two. Now in the box, Freddie Freeman. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Let's still watch a sinker here that misses. It's ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's in for a base hit. Finally, make him one for five now. Hey, look at this guy compete right there. Nice Go base back. hit. Are you kidding me? He had already had the hat trick. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, no dice. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Bellinger's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Braves strand one. 
but they still lead this one four to two. Will Smith comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Gavin Lux. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. The 1 0. And he fouls this one off. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Justin Turner stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. A curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Three one fastball, middle cut, and he didn't miss it. No, That's the fight no, throughout three. the course of the game. No, Get yourself into count leverage no, and capitalize. Pujols will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. First offering. Looking at his career totals, Pujols is the perfect guy to have at the plate if you're hoping for something big offensively here. Hard to look past more than 600 career home runs. Yeah, Matty, you nailed it. Perfect guy, perfect time. If you pulled the entire 750 guys in the big leagues right now, who you'd want up in this situation? Ding, 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 ding. This is the guy. And I'd be surprised if Albert sees anything here as it goes to 3-0 now. Chris Taylor will be next. off ball four so he comes right off the bench and works the walk usually easier said than done the closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent three. but he left the door three. right open with a walk there Play we'll ball. see if they can capitalize on it Steven Souza will come on now and pinch run here So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And in the hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. He's set. Here it comes. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. First and second now, one man out. A 
Curveball misses inside. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. From the belt, the pitch. Curveball bounces, and that gets by to the backstop. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it, too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. Got him with now a good high fastball no there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Austin Barnes is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Souza, the runner at third, who holds at second with two gone. Here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. The set and the 2 1. The Dodgers down to their final strike in the dirt, but swung on and missed. Darno gathers it. Throw to first, he'll be in time to get him. And the Braves are going to take a commanding three games to one lead here in the series as this ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game. And it took six here to get the job done. But, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. Four to two, the final score tonight. Atlanta jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Luke Jackson pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. I win, I win, again and again, again and again. Now they telling their friends, I don't know who my friends, they like to pretend. Now I'm switching up my energy, my enemies. Feel like I got hundreds of them, no, no, no love for me. Y'all ain't in the streets, y'all just in the street. Y'all just in the street, y'all just in the street. No deal, I like the breach. I call up my lawyer like, never mind. They playing with all of these and it's just money, but no, 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 never mind. That could probably never rhyme. It said we a million up. I only spend money on her if I know she the truth. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Atlanta Braves, four runs on six hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Dodgers, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 47 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers, thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.